Today I'm testing crazy Minecraft build hacks you need to know in Minecraft. And if you don't learn at least one thing by the end of today's video, I want you to unsubscribe to me. But if you do learn, I want you to do the opposite and drop me a sub. This one's quite difficult, I think. It's made by Mumbo Jumbo. You know it's not gonna be easy. Oh God. And make sure you do not touch the big boat. What if you touch it? <laughs> oh, the boat explosion. Dude, that is the most annoying thing you could ever do in Minecraft. I, I love this. The thing is, I don't really know how to make an efficient redstone clock like my boy Mumbo did. So I'm gonna do a inefficient redstone clock because uh, well, I, I'm not that good. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Redstone clock's done. Now, this build uh, low-key seems a little bit easy. I mean, you just walk around here and put a crafting table up and then put a bunch of boats into it. So it doesn't seem that bad, in theory. He said press Q on it? Yo, I didn't know you could craft and press Q to instantly craft. That is actually epic. Look at that. That looks so real. It looks so good. The only way you might be suspicious is if you see this little shadow right here and you go, hmm, I don't know if shadow should be that dark. Let's see what happens when we get into it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it's so weird. And the best part is for us, my bottom boat was a different color. And so all the others came out a different color of brown, which makes this kind of look like a glitch. That is epic, dude. Carpet on top of a fence makes instant stairs? Whoa. That's really cool. We're going to get our cobblestone placed right now. now obviously, you can't just walk up one of these. Okay, nope. we know that. So now what we're going to do is place our fence below it and see if that does anything. Oh, wait. Oh, you don't even need the carpet. You can just walk over it right away. So what's even crazier is I have this idea where what if I cover it with moss? Because then it's like basically invisible. You could even blend it into the landscape. You could have something like this. Oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> That was aggressive. So now you can do it like this. You could even cover the entire inside area with this carpet and then literally just straight up walk out. This is cool. If we do this and put a cow in the center and then cover this with carpet, can the cow even walk on fences? We'll certainly find out pretty soon. He definitely seems stuck there. Oh no, he got out. That's still pretty cool. And if you learn something, you know what you gotta do. So you put sea pickles below a minecart, and then your cod goes on the sea pickle. Wow, this one's a little bit complicated. But it is basically like a miniature fish tank. I've never seen this one. This will be a weird one to add to your repertoire. I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, deep slate's the best. So we're gonna use deep slate. We're gonna put it around, and the sea pickle will go in the center, just like this, with some water. And then all we need to do now is get our minecart in there. This is the part I'm worried about. Like, if it breaks... That was good. I love when things work in life. Now, the somewhat difficult part. Somehow, we gotta get a fish in here and get it to fall in. Could I just pop it down like this? Look at that. We did it. We made a miniature fish tank using a minecart. One of the weirder builds I've seen in my life. This one's phenomenal because first off, no one uses melons. But second off, this looks like your grandma's basement. I know it. Look at the interesting roof and floor pattern. There's a lot to unpack here and this is really cool. Now for the floor, it gets really weird because it looks like he's using beehives as the floor. That's a build hack I've never seen. Is that right? I did not realize beehives made like such a premium looking wood. Granny's got some taste now. This is totally new. I've never seen this one before. The crazy thing about this though is it doesn't stop here. In fact, they stick the bed into the wall. Very fascinating. They actually, no, they put the bed like this, all right? How do they do the bed? I don't know how they do the bed. I know behind the bed is this. The side of the bed is this, but how do they make the bed look like that? How do they get rid of the pillow? So there's your couch. It reminds me of SpongeBob's grandma's house right now a little bit. And now here's what's crazy. The roof, you might not have guessed, is lecterns. And take a look. You can actually make a crazy pattern by placing the lecterns like this on your roof. Your roof has like an alternating oak pattern, which is basically impossible to get in Minecraft. Phenomenal. This one, 10 out of 10. Another super crazy detailed build hack. All right, these are good because they separate you from the Minecraft casuals. You don't want to be a casual. All right, you want to be a pro. Minecraft calcite, a block that none of us use, could be used in a snowstorm. Exquisite. All right, so here is the situation. You got a village right off the side of a giant glacier. Sure, all right, in your map. You're gonna go down, pull out some calcite, and not not clay, not clay again, still calcite. And this is a block that's, it's not bad, but let's see how it looks as like a snow path. So we're gonna pretend like they're walking up this mountain, maybe a little bit like this. I think you can like leave some snow in there as well, keep it like all natural, you know? We're not gonna turn around to see it until we've kind of finalized the whole product here, but I think there's some big potential with it. I really do. We could be striking a home run. Look at this! Look at this. This looks, this actually looks incredible. It, it actually fits so well. It reminds me of putting a, like a, just a path block down in a village, but just what it would look like if you did it in snow. This is good. 10 out of 10 hack. Very advanced tip coming in, folks. If you name a Vindicator Johnny, they become a perfect mm -hmm. chef for your base. As food falls, they slaughter the food for you and literally kill it with a giant ax. Look how incredible this is. So we're going to use one of these beautiful humble abodes to store our Vindicator named Johnny. Obviously lock him in so he can't escape. And then put him in like a little counter, maybe something like, a little something like this right back here in the corner. And then a trap door to secure him in here. Can't let him escape. Now we pop the Vindicator down. No. Well, that sucks. So this one's now named Johnny. So we're going to pop down the food. I don't want him to be able to get up here. All right, Johnny, get on down in there. Now you shouldn't be able to jump and you should be able to kill the chickens that fall. Oh, but he's too far away now. Boy, this is a tricky situation. 
it does work. This is such a cool way to kill your moms. Like, don't be using pistons, guys. Get yourself a personal chef, all right? Play like a pro. Get yourself a Johnny today. Now, if you somehow still haven't learned something in this video, and you know every one of these hacks, this one's gonna blow your mind because the simplicity of it is beautiful. This is a new way to build a fantasy woodland map inside of your streets. Look at how pretty this thing looks. This is gorgeous. The moss, the glow berries, the freaking cobblestone. This is something else. All right, let's try it now. So moss goes down. Then your brick wall, then your chain, then your glow berries. But I don't know how to particularly place them like this. Oh, then you just got to bone nail them. Look at that. That is like a very cool fantasy light. I don't know how you could even improve something like this. Maybe even moss on the roof. Nope, not that. Don't do that one. Now, if you still haven't learned anything, then I made sure to save four of the best hacks for the end of today's video. Oh, cool. Look at this one. If you want to make it look like a door fell on the ground, you can just use literally spruce doors and then like spruce... Spru spruce trap doors on the ground and it looks like a spruce door fell all right let's go take a house and uh let's do it to an actual village house because this is a perfect scenario this one has two doors okay one door goes down and the second one just on the floor yo that's pretty sick that looks like some giant beast came in and destroyed it you could use the glow lichen lichen you could put this on your windows and then this actually makes your windows look cracked Look at that. It's like your house is broken into, dude. This is crazy. Now, if you want to make your Minecraft bedroom look way cooler, because why wouldn't you want to do that? You need to use this hack right here. But when we take off this little black strip in the picture, you're going to see the genius behind the detail. Using hay, you create a beautiful blanket on top of your bed. So in order to make this super bed, what we're going to do here is place down the bed just like normal, right? If you're trying to make like a bed out of sand, you do this, and then you put some pillows in the back, maybe, with some snow. And then you got yourself like a nice looking bed. But to elevate it a little bit more, you can use this micro build hack by putting hay bales right center you gotta get the right angle because you want that stripe along the center and that gives you this beautiful blanket style vibe to it and then you elevate it even more by taking some natural wood in your surrounding area ba boom ba boom pop down a couple candles on either side it looks incredible and then you can even give your freaking dresser actual drawers now that is how you elevate your bedroom if you want to take that bedroom and give it a subtle lighting without being too bright because you know you got to sleep in pure darkness you could actually just use the glow lichen lichen i still don't know how to say that word and place it around We'll take these candles out to give it a true dark vibe, including these frames. And you want it to stay dark because you're trying to enjoy the night and enjoy the stargazing. You can just do a couple of these around so it's just a faint, subtle lightness. It's enough to stop mobs from spawning and it's not too much that's going to ruin your stargazing. Plus, you could honestly like be pretty clever about it and like hide it so that it's literally invisible. Now look at that. You've got fully lit, just a beautiful ambient atmosphere here and you don't know where the light's coming from. This actually looks really cool. If you want your base to feel more exotic, you can create this billionaire style chandelier that's like a mini miniature amethyst in your base and I love this design so what we can do above the bed is create a miniature amethyst just like this we'll go up a couple layers this might look really really cool I don't want it to be too too gaudy you know just keep it nice and simple a little something like this now getting this small is the most important part because if it's too big this is going to look really weird so this is how our design looks I think it's a little bit too big here you really got to play with it a lot to get the right dimensions it's just not an easy thing to do but that's not the worst thing I've ever seen before and if you're a better builder than me it's going to look a little bit nicer than that but I think you get the idea guys this is a really cool way to create a very exotic indoor freaking hanging amethyst like those super rich people you see in YouTube videos they got them gems all over them houses all right now this one I feel like no one's seen because it's very very uncommon five days ago this one came out you can use campfires underwater to create underwater deep sea events and y'all know these are pretty juicy so this this right here this feels vent like it's speaking to me saying zach put some smoke in me and i say okay oh wow the fire actually works in the water I, I thought you would have to at least cover it nope don't even have to do that really i mean that doesn't even make sense you, this is we're, we're freaking living in spongebob's timeline here so pop a couple of these down a little bit deep so you don't see the campfire it makes zero sense of all the ones to not work this is the one that shouldn't work but here we are now that's interesting you put it on gravel and it doesn't work you put it on dirt and it does what it only works in the dirt yo that's weird why is that? I have no idea what's going on. It seems like if you dig down one, it just works. And then as you zoom out and get a little bit farther away, put the campfire away and you can't really see the flames, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, underground vents. This is great. I saw this on National Geographic once. Very good detail. Very good lesson. And if you learned something here today, guys, make sure you subscribe. And if you didn't, I guess I'll never see you again. Peace.